up and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello. My name is Katie, I live in Orlando and I make all shop with me videos, home decor, pretty much anything to do with like Target, Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, anything to do with those stores. So if you love videos like that, definitely make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Today's video is so exciting. I feel like I'm finally giving you guys what you've been waiting for. Today's video is a shop and decorate with me and today we are focusing on my living room. We're gonna be going to a couple different stores. There's a couple items that I need to pick up. I absolutely need to get throw pillows. So in order to, I don't know, I just have anxiety about like getting pillows that don't match. I actually brought one of the pillows that came with my couch so I know the exact color and I can kind of like find stuff that hopefully matches really good. We're gonna be hitting up Home Goods. We also need to go to Ikea and maybe some other stops along the way if I'm having trouble finding what I'm looking for. But I've been scoping out the stores for the last few days and I have a pretty good idea of what I'm going to buy today. I have like lists and I took dimensions. I brought a tape measure so we are ready to go. I'm so excited. You will see at the end of this me putting these items in the space and decorating my living room. It might not be fully decorated. I'm still deciding on some things but it, you will get a really good glimpse into a part of our new apartment and I'm so excited. So let's head into the first store which is Home Goods and let's look for like throw pillows. I'm also looking for a piece of artwork for another part of our house but I've been scoping it out for the last few days and I think I'm ready to pull the triggers. So let's head into Home Goods and let's get shopping. Okay, so this is the artwork I came in for. The wall that we want to put it on is 100 inches and this is 50 so there'd be 25 on each side so i'm trying to decide if this might be too small there are two other ones here by the same artist so i'm going to go ahead and measure those and see if any of them are bigger and if i like those as well but i just love the style of it i just think it's like super simple but it's still like really like neutral and then has like a pop of a dark color and the wood frame is really really pretty too i just I haven't stopped thinking about it in days this one's a little bit harder to see but this one's awesome too and it has like the gold detailing it's having like shadows cast on it because of these leaves but it's a little bit lighter than it looks and then on this corner it just has some like neutral color blocking so this is another option. This one is even smaller though. This one is 41 inches. So this is definitely the biggest of the three. It is 60 inches, so 10 inches bigger than the one that I love, but I just really don't think the colors will work because it's like a purple burgundy color. Like if that wasn't there, I think that it would, but I don't know. So like I need this size, but like in the one that I love. Okay, I just found this one. And this one's also 60 inches and it's like way more neutral. So this is also a really good option. They also have these again now, which I feel like would be really cool. I wish that they had this one, like this size, but in like two different prints because these are exactly the same. And then they have this one and the circular one, which is really, really cool. They do have longer ones too. They have this one and then that one. The taller ones are 150, but now these ones are 129. So a little bit cheaper than when I found them the first time, which is interesting. Okay, moving on to pillows. This is the one I brought that like came with our couch. It's the exact same color and material as our couch. I kind of like this one but the colors are really different. So I think this is the issue I'm gonna run into. Our couch is a really cool toned beige and most beiges are more warm toned. So it's not that that looks bad and I'm not gonna find pillows that match exactly. So this still could work. Okay, I found this one long pillow that I like a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab it because even if I don't like it on the couch, I know exactly where else I'm gonna put it. So the line at this store is absolute insanity again. And I am going to another home goods, so I want to see if they have the like. I want to see if they have the artwork I love here, there, but in the bigger size. So I'm gonna plan to come back here. I just don't want to wait in line for like one pillow. So basically, if the pillow that I like is also still here later, I'll probably pick that up too, depending on what else I find at the other home goods. But yeah, I just don't want to wait 30 minutes in line for one pillow. Okay, the pillow selection here is not necessarily bigger, but it has more of what I'm looking for. They actually have the exact same pillow that I wanted from the other store, so that solves one problem. But now I'm like, is it too much black? But also, I don't know. I know I might want to use it on our bed if I don't like it on the couch. So that one's going in the cart. Brought my pillow in, and we're going to see if we can put together the rest of the pillows for the couch from what they have here. So then there's this one, which has like a decent amount of black. 
but I really don't like this like fluffy type texture plus it's very like itchy scratchy and I don't want pillows that you feel like you totally have to take off the couch because they're just really uncomfortable I want ones that kind of like are also functional but also cute so this one will not work this one is seemingly pretty perfect but this is actually navy and not black so that won't work but I like how more like tightly knit this is and the material of this is a lot softer just found these I feel like this is pretty nice it's almost like burlap type tassels and they do have two so I might be able to make that work but it looks very yellow kind of next to my real pillows so I'm not sure okay I just found this one which I'm obsessed with perfect amount of black long pillow I feel like it would work a lot better than this one oh my gosh I love this one you can take the cover off and everything oh my gosh love it score this other lady just took the two pillows that I wanted <sighs> I didn't even get a chance to show them to you. They were so pretty. Wait and see if she puts them down, but maybe it wasn't meant to be. I mean, obviously she has great taste in my opinion, so good for her. I also want to get a black mirror. I'm looking for 34 or 36 inches in diameter. So I need to measure this one. This one is also extremely heavy and it is 100. It's Rachel Zoe, or Rachel Roy actually, sorry, but it's really heavy and I like the frame a lot. Okay, so I just measured, this one is 31 for $100. And from Target, I can order 32 for $80. So I'm gonna go ahead and order it on Target because it's just a better deal. Okay, update, she decided to put one back and I saw it on the shelf, so I picked it up. But here it is, it has like the white tassels with these little like brown accents, which I like. And then here's like the main color of the couch and it's pretty spot on. And then here it is like with this pillow. Oh, I just don't know. It's so hard. I'm like so bad at throw pillows. I don't know why. I think I've seen these at other home goods. So I feel like maybe if I checked the other one, like the first one again, for this pillow, I might be able to find it, but also I could always return it. And also I could check Ikea. A lot of people tell me to check Ikea. But I think I'm gonna get these two, like for sure-ish. This one for sure. This one-ish. This one also-ish. I just like turned on my camera and everything was like really blue. So that just threw me through a loop for a second. But anyways, just left that home goods and everyone recommends this other home goods that I never go to. It's in this area called Dr. Phillips. If you don't live in Orlando, it's like also where the Trader Joe's is. So I think I'm gonna go to Ikea to grab the decorative things that I need there. Then I think I'm gonna check out that home goods because I'm not kidding. Everybody says they love that home goods. I've been there a few times, but it's never like struck me as like overly stocked or like you know it's never really stuck out that much to me but everyone's recommending it so i want to head over there and give it a shot and it's like kind of on the way home anyways so i'm gonna go to ikea first and then we're gonna check out that home goods but first up we're gonna go to ikea i have screenshots on my phone of where to look for the things i'm looking for a lot of the things that i also wanted say out of stock but we're gonna double check while we're there anyways because sometimes things come into stock or it's not completely accurate so it never hurts to check i just love how obnoxious ikea is they're like hey you made it you're here i don't know the colors of the building I just love how much they stick out. So I came straight into like the downstairs decoration part because I've seen all the furniture pretty recently and everything I need is down here. The annoying part about the website though is that it just says like in decoration, like gives no other clue to where it could be. So I kind of just have to walk around till I find it, I guess, I don't know. This is crazy nice. They have so many of them. It is the Kalak tray and it is on a Lazy Susan. I got one just like this from Home Goods and it was probably at least $30. And this is a really pretty light color, but it is a great size. I don't know if I'll be able to like compare my hand to it, but it's a really, really good size and it's on a Lazy Susan. Feels like really good quality and the price is insanely unbeatable. I'm thinking about getting one for my dining room table. That way we can put like decoration on it or something and when we're eating, if you wanna like spin it, I don't know. I might pick one of these up for the dining area. Classic me wanting to like come in and buy stuff I didn't come in here for. The cool thing about these is like they're all different because the wood is like a different grain for each of them. So I've kind of just been like looking at a bunch of them but I like this one a lot. I like them all. I think they're all awesome. Update. 
Couldn't find the thing I was looking for, but I did find this throw blanket, which is pretty. It has like some black details. It looks a lot like the one I have on our bed right now, but that's more gray. So this is really pretty too. I actually have one in my hand, so I might get it. I'm not sure yet. I like this one a lot, but it has a lot of gray in it, which is the only thing I'm apprehensive about. I'm not sure. Do I get it? Do I get it? Okay, so Ikea does like pillow covers. And a lot of these are actually super awesome. Like I like this one. I feel like that one is pretty fun. And the covers are $7.99 and because they're covers, you know, you can take them off and wash them. And then they do also sell the cushion inserts as well. This exactly matches the blanket I picked up. Still has a lot of like gray in it and stuff. I don't want anything to be like too matchy matchy. Okay, here's the other thing I came to look at. This is a new product. It is just like a wooden tray and it has black handles. It looks really, really pretty on the website. They do have it in a couple different sizes, but it's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be, so I'm not gonna pick this up. So pretty much, I'm just striking out at Ikea, which is okay. The less time I spend here, the more I can spend at the other home goods and driving there and stuff. But I do want to check the as is section. I love this section. If you don't check it when you come, you need to. You just never know what you'll find. They have like glassware. They have like handles. They have furniture. You never know. You could find exactly what you were looking for. And it's like as is just because someone returned it. But there's nothing wrong with it. So just check it. I'm so sad that they were out of like the one thing that I really... Really wanted because I've been stocking it, waiting for it to come back into stock. A bunch of stuff that we want from here is has been out of stock. And I feel like I centered my whole video around this one product, which was like this napkin holder. It was like a rattan napkin holder, but it was nine by nine and I wanted to put it in the middle of my coffee table. So now we're gonna have to find something else because I want somewhere to put like the remotes, a little plant. Stuff like that. That's okay though, we're not gonna spend any more time dwelling on what Ikea doesn't have. We're gonna head to the home goods store that everyone keeps recommending. We're gonna go see what all the hub is about. I finally made it. Okay, they have a very big pillow selection, so I'm optimistic about that at least. But every time I come to this home goods, I'm reminded of why I don't. The traffic is crazy. Like these, it's a two pack, so you get two for 24 which is a good deal and I feel like they match like decently honestly they're like simple but still patterned if that makes sense okay just found these ones and I like how they match but they're like still bright because I feel like these ones are just like still really dark so I'm wondering if this would look good with the all black pillow but our couch is an L so if I put one on each side I don't know I feel like I need another pillow for the middle does that look nice I feel like that is like decent and then with black accent i feel like these look good together and like a black accent would look really good all right shopping for today is concluded honestly i'm feeling very frustrated because i just like look at stuff all the time and i don't know how i like can't find what i'm looking for when i'm looking for it but then when i'm not looking for it i find it when i don't need it whatever anyways so shopping is concluded i have no idea if the throw pillows i picked are gonna look good i throw pillows are like so difficult for me i try to look at pictures and like all that stuff but i don't know i just like can't make them look good for some reason i don't know i have to actually see them on the couch the woman that worked at like the second home goods i went to i think because i actually went to three home goods just today says that too many people overthink it they overthink throw pillows so she said not to overthink it just put them on like give it some time to rest and then come back and look at it like don't sit there and overanalyze it which I thought was a good tip so next up is decorating so I'm gonna be using some of the stuff I picked up today in combination with stuff that I already have and have purchased and I will let you know where everything is from if I can um, and I can provide links if I can but a lot of it was like home goods finds but with stuff I already bought and the stuff I got today and tomorrow we're gonna decorate the living room and I am so excited to decorate the living room and see how it comes out it won't be fully done because like i said we're still debating some stuff but it'll be a lot more closer a lot closer than it was before to being done and i'm really excited so let's get into 
decorating, I guess. All right, hey guys, it is the next day and it is time to decorate. So I am gonna show you kind of like what we're working with, like what is our starting point. Then I'm gonna go over the furniture pieces and what everything is and I will definitely do my best to link everything down below. Then we're gonna kind of put everything on the coffee table and just, I don't know, figure it out as we go along. I'm so excited to finally have this room like mostly decorated. I do want your opinions on some things, so definitely weigh in in the comments um, on the couple questions that I have like regarding stuff. Also, feel free to like let me know what you think about everything down below. Please be nice. Keep in mind everyone has a different style, um, and just because it's not your style doesn't make it ugly. So just keep that in mind. But first, let's kind of I'll go. Let's go over our starting point. I guess is probably the best place to start. Okay, so I'm not gonna like fluff the couch or anything. I really just want to give you like an honest starting point. So this is pretty much where we're at. This is our living room. So this chair, if you guys have been watching my channel for a few months, you'll know that I got this chair uh, on like mega clearance from Target. It was actually broken right here and I Gorilla glued it with like wood Gorilla glue and we clamped it and I turned this $40 chair back into its original glory and I just feel like I got such a good deal on it. This coffee table is one that I settled on and I do like it because I feel like it's really good like transitional decor. You can like turn it into whatever you want and also it wasn't too pricey. I think it was around $200. So if I ever do decide to change it, it's like, you know, I can sell it on Facebook Market or whatever and recoup most of my costs and I do feel like it's transitional enough where I can make it whatever style I want, so I really like that. Here is our new couch. Like I said, it needs Jesus. We will definitely be like fluffing it and you'll get to see it in all of its glory. But this is the Sebesto couch from Ashley Furniture. We liked it because it's structured enough but also still like slouchy and has the relaxed look that we were looking for. So that is the Sebesto couch. Our TV is Brian's dream TV. It's massive, we got it on Black Friday. I think it's like 85 inches, so definitely Definitely a huge TV. I will say the windows make it like a little bit difficult, so we just close the blinds a lot. But one major question I have for you guys is do you think we should add curtains? I wasn't thinking of adding like super functional curtains. I was thinking about doing a panel here, a panel in the middle, and a panel over here on the sides, like mostly for decorative purposes. They would have to be like almost 130 inches long, so they would have to be pretty custom. But I was thinking about doing long black curtain rods and then some like white linen curtains. So definitely let me know what you guys think about that. I also need to figure out what to do with these wires. I don't wanna cut a hole in the wall, so if you guys know of any other solutions, definitely let me know. But now let's talk about this. I feel like a lot of people are going to like this. So it's like a white entertainment center and it has cane doors with black hardware and also black legs. They almost look like it's floating or whatever, but it's really cool. So I wanted a TV stand just like this from Crate and Barrel, but it was like almost two grand, and that just wasn't in the budget. So one day I got served an ad on Instagram from a company called Norse Interiors, and what they do is they customize IKEA furniture. So this is the IKEA Besta cabinet with three custom doors from Norse Interiors. They have a ton of different styles. They are not sponsoring this video, but I did just wanna tell you about it because I feel like it's a really great way to customize decently priced furniture, and I definitely got the look I wanted for a lot cheaper, so I wanted to make sure I took the time to tell you that. The doors came fully assembled. I just had to put the hardware on and then attach them to the cabinet, and then we attached the legs as well, but it was super easy, and I feel like it made this piece of furniture look a lot more expensive than it was. Already in here decoratively, we have this tree from Hobby Lobby, and then the basket is from Home Goods. I've had this for a long time, and this just seemed like the perfect home for it. We have our already broken Roomba. We only used it three times, and then it broke. They are sending us a new motor. Then we have our dog toys in this basket, which I know is absolutely heinous. I definitely need to get a new basket or find another way to store them. I was wanting to get this little rolling cart from Ikea, but when I went to Ikea yesterday, it was sold out. My idea was to put the toys on the bottom and then decorate the top with like coasters or a fake plant, but unfortunately, that was out of stock. We currently just have these two blankets sitting here. 
um, on this chair. We'll have them like on the couch. Like we have this one on the couch, which is mostly for the dogs, but the couch is just super messed up right now. But we definitely need to find a better way to keep these because this just ain't cutting it. And then this is a vase from the Target Dollar Spot from a couple years ago. And then honestly, a bunch of random little sprigs from like Dollar Tree, Dollar Spot that don't go together at all. So I'm definitely looking to change this. Okay, so the first thing I wanna tackle is the couch because it's definitely the main focal point of the room in my opinion. So first we definitely need to delint the cushions because we have three dogs and they are allowed on the couch. So we're gonna delint the cushions, fluff them up, and then we are gonna go ahead and decorate with the pillows that we used yesterday. I'm really hoping that they will all look good together. I also found a blanket. I'm not exactly sure where I got it, but I've had it for a little while in the closet. I kind of use our guest bedroom closet as my like home decor hub, like things I'm not sure what I wanna do with it yet, but I know I wanna do something. So I kind of use that area for that. But I found a blanket in there that I think might work well with the other pillows, but I'm not sure, so we're definitely gonna play around with it. But let's tackle this couch first and foremost. yesterday I bought a bunch of pillows let's see if they actually look good on the couch okay threw all the pillows on the woman that worked at home goods that was an interior designer was like you can't overthink it so I'm trying not to overthink it but I'm thinking <laughs> that I don't like the two on the ends Honestly, I don't know, throw pillows is so difficult for me. So this is what we're working with right now. These are the three pillows that came with the couch and honestly, like I'm not dead set on keeping them, but they're there. So then if I take these two away, which I think would look pretty good on our bed, let's see what we have then. So then if you take those away, ugh, I don't know. I feel like these pillows don't work at all. Maybe move this over. Notice how all the tags are still on them because I'm not sure which ones I'm gonna wanna keep. So maybe if you like move these two over, I don't know, maybe when we add more decorations. Just in case I get questions, the thing I was using to like roll the couch is called the Fur Daddy. It works okay, I'm not saying it's the greatest thing ever, but it works pretty good. You do have to use some elbow grease, but just in case anyone was wondering, it's called the Fur Daddy. I don't know, when I walk away and come back, I'm like, mm, it's kind of okay. Let's add more. Okay, so the next area I want to work on is the coffee table. So this is what was on the coffee table originally was like, this plant with a bunch of mismatched stems in it. I went ahead and bought this one at Home Goods. It does still have the tag on it, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the tag off. I like how it has the white pot with the black details and the green. So that is gonna go right on the coffee table, super simple. Then I bought this basket and I also bought these coasters on Amazon. If you saw for the last few videos, I was looking for coasters that came in one of these little things. Um, I thought originally I wanted like wood and marble, but then I decided I wanted something like these and I absolutely love this. I think it was like $10 for six coasters that came in here and I'm just obsessed with it. So I will go ahead and link this down below as well, but I'm a huge fan. Um, and then I have these little jars from the Target Dollar Spot that have the stems, um, but I don't think I'm gonna use them in this basket. The main purpose of the basket was just to house like the remotes. Like we wanted a place where like the remotes go there, they can't get lost. So that was kind of the idea behind the basket. So I'm thinking I'll put the coasters in the basket and then put the remotes in the basket and that will be our super simple coffee table decor. I think it is super important to layer different textures and stuff because now I feel like when you add 
that plant onto this. This is looking a little bit better. Next up, we really need to tackle the blanket storage issue that we have going on here. And I bought an item back in like January, I think, for this exact problem, so I'm finally excited to like use it. So I got on like Hidden Crazy Super Clearance this like magazine stand from Target. It was like way up high, it was like 20 feet up in the store and I like risked my life to get this thing down and it was only like $5 and it was originally 50, so it was like 90% off. So I wanna try rolling up the blankets in here. Um, Brian used to have someone that would come and clean his house and that was how they always like stored the blankets was by rolling them up and then like putting them on different places in the couch. And I loved the way that looked, but I don't want them on the couch. I just want them next to the couch. Okay, so we have this blank wall space right here and I was thinking about using the wall letter boards that I got from the Target dollar spot a few months back. It just, I think, would be the perfect space for them. I really feel like they would just look so cute just like right here. I feel like this is the perfect wall for them. a stud and for some reason we don't have a hammer in our apartment and the second hole I made isn't level this is a nightmare <laughs> how you fix a wall <sighs> let's let it dry and by the time it's dry Brian will be home and we can try this again look who's here save the day what oh <laughs> <laughs> I've documented this whole journey so Is now it, Brian's here to save the day it's been rough yeah it's been a I'm here rough. to save the day um yeah I think that's good because then like one here and then like one there maybe? Yeah, that's good. Maybe four. Looks good to me. While he does that, I am looking at inspiration to figure out what I actually want to write on it. So, I need to figure that out. If you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel. Well, can we open some channels? Because I'm clearly a professional decorator. Clearly. Decarter? Decarter. Decart. <laughs> To keep it nice and clean, not freak out and cause a scene. I try to hold it together, keep it together. Not sure who I really am, just be cute and super bland. I try to hold it together, keep it together. Been playing it down, but I'm so getting tired. Now, won't you meet?
well that is gonna be it for me today I really hope that you enjoyed the shop and decorate with me the room is definitely not done it's not perfect so there will continue to be updates but I know you guys were just dying to see part of our apartment so I was really excited to do this video for you guys if you love this video definitely make sure you give it a big thumbs up hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't yet and if you like this video please let me know down below if you want to see more of them we have a big apartment lots of rooms to decorate so I could definitely do more of these if you guys would be interested let me know what was your favorite part of what I did today I would probably say it was this it was definitely the most difficult these things were a lot harder to hang than they look but thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time bye guys this is the stuff you don't see say bye, bye.